Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix the CPU has been disabled by the guest operating system, power off or reset the virtual machine. Now you get this message while installing the Mac operating system or any other kind of operating system on the VMware machine. So you can see while installing, I'm getting this message. So now there is a very simple fix that you need to apply. What you will have to do, you need to click on OK. Then click on the player drop down at the left and top. Hover up to manage. Then click on virtual machine settings. Then click on options. Now here it will show you the location of the file where your directory has been saved. So you have to keep this open. Then bring up your file explorer. And now locate to this location. So I will bring up my C drive. Then I will go to users. Then I will go to my username. Then on OneDrive. Then in document, in document, I have to look for virtual machine. I will double click on it. Now here you will find all the operating system that is connected to your VMware machine. So look for the one where you have the problem. Like I have the problem with the Mac OS. I will double click on it. And then here you will find a file by the name Mac OS 10.15.vmx. Now this can be Mac OS 11.vmx. So you have to look for a file by the name, by the extension dot vmx and the file size will be around 4kb so you can also identify by this now once you come up here you just make a right click on it over up to open with choose notepad if you don't find notepad listed here you can click on choose another app and now it will come up with a notepad here you have to scroll down to the very bottom and at the very bottom you have to paste the code that you will be getting in the description so copy this kind of code Come back to this notepad, make a right click and paste it. Once pasted, you have to save it. So click on file, click on save. Now you can close it. Once done, just shut down the guest. Again, bring up your VMware machine and then again, try to launch your machine. And now you can see the Apple is loading up. And the Mac operating system will now be installed without any kind of error message. So this is one of the simplest and the easiest method guys to fix this kind of problem. Now in case anyhow if this method doesn't work, also make sure that the virtualization has been enabled on your computer, on your Windows BIOS. I've already created a video, you can check that out, that how to enable the virtualization from the BIOS. Hopefully guys this will work for you. Please let me know in the comment section. And also, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.